Hi, it's Nick from the Run Testers, and this is our first run review of the New Balance Fuel Cell Super Comp Pacer. So the Supercomp Pacer is a new lower stack carbon plate running shoe from New Balance. It's in the same mold as things like the Nike Street Fly or the Adidas Takumi Sen 8 in that it's built to be a short distance racing shoe. Uh, new Balance says it's redesigned for events from 5k to the half marathon. It's part of a new Supercomp line coming from New Balance which includes the Supercomp Trainer which is a 47 millimeter you know very high stack illegally high stack training shoe with a plate and then also be the Supercomp RC Elite 3 which is the successor to New Balance's top flight long distance racing shoe the RC Elite 2. So the Supercomp Pacer cost £160 in the UK at $150 in the US which is a slightly interesting conversion there. Uh, it weighs just 199 grams or 7 ounces in my UK size 9 uh, and it's got an 8 millimeter drop. Uh, I've not got exact figures for the kind of heel stack height but i've seen something like 28 millimeters online and that would kind of fit with the look and feel of the shoe so this is a full carbon plate shoe you, you can see the carbon plate in there it's uh, got kind of new balance's energy arc technology kind of a scooping carbon plate that fits between two layers of new balance's fuel cell foam now this is a very very soft foam we've seen on other shoes but new balance kind of tweak how soft it is on different shoes and this it feels a little bit firmer to the touch than the foam on something like the rc elite 2 or even the new balance rebel version 2. you've got a very very thin stripped back racing upper there you know big holes there breathable lightweight stuff minimal padding around the collar and yeah nothing on the tongue at all all designed to keep the weight down and the same goes for the outsole you just got kind of a little bit of forefoot coverage of rubber that really extends right up for your toe off there and then these two thin strips at the back but you can actually see the outsole rubber is almost flush with the exposed foam on the shoe so yeah probably gonna be a shoe that wears a fair bit but it's built for racing and you know fast training only so it should be used fairly sparingly i guess Tom, Mike and myself all have the New Balance Supercomp Pacer in for review and also thank you to Pro Direct Running for sorting a couple of those samples out and also to New Balance for sorting the other sample. Uh, all of our reviews are obviously completely unbiased regardless of where we get the samples from but, but thank you to Pro Direct New Balance for sorting out the samples so we can do this review. So the design and fit front, really love the look of these shoes. They're nice and light. You've got this really thin upper, kind of these really kind of big kind of mesh kind of holes uh, in the front of the kind of the front of the shoe, which you know it feels like it's a really good shoe to race in in the summer. Um, I, I my UK size eight, it was, I would say it was true to size in terms of what I felt. No kind of discomfort, nice kind of amount of space in the toe box, no pressing on the midfoot, kind of a generous amount of you know padding, enough padding there, and a kind of really thin tongue and a kind of nice nice laces like a little bit thin but kind of got a nice lockdown feel with them over what i would say is i definitely think you know sticks to kind of thinner socks i found a slightly thicker socks it, it felt like a little bit more of a tighter fit for me so kind of thin socks worked in terms of getting a really nice fit for me on those so yeah overall on the super compacer no major issues so far in my few runs that i've done with them uh, in terms of fit fit for me in the pacers i'm normally a size 8 i've got a size 8.5 here and they fit like a glove um there's not a lot of space in at the end of the foot so um, quite, I'm quite lucky that I've got these because I think if I'd gone down to an eight, they probably would have been a bit tight. So I'd probably size up half a size if you can. So the fit uh, is tight, certainly tight. I had this with a few New Balance shoes in the past, including the Rebel uh, version one in particular and the RC Elite one. They come very tight in the toe box on my right foot in particular. Now, I don't mind that in a short distance racing shoe. I like quite a tight racing fit um, and it's actually completely fine on my left foot. But if you are looking at using this maybe half marathons and if, potentially even longer, maybe there's a case for going size up half size up just give yourself a little bit more room uh, around the toe box around the midfoot and heel it's excellent though really nice streamlined racing fit uh, great for me with a narrow foot so the fit certainly has you know a very tight racy feel to it and whether that suits you true to size might depend on how much room you want in the toe box So just heading out for first run in the New Balance uh, Fuel Cell Super Comp Pacer, very long name. Uh, I'm gonna do a progression eight miles, but a pretty relaxed pace today. Start off a couple of miles easy, a couple of miles at 6.30, couple of miles at 6.15, and then a couple of sub sixes at the end, a little cool down. So it should be a quite nice, enjoyable run. It's a pleasant evening here in London. It should be good fun, hopefully. And uh, it'll be interesting to see how the shoe works at a range of different paces, including uh, the slightly easier ones towards the start and how it feels on a run of this length, because you know it is a little bit less protective than some of the big cushy carbon shoes. So we'll see if my legs start to feel it by the end, especially as I ran a half marathon race at the weekend. So about 5k in so far and like I say it's been a fairly easy start to the run but the shoes have been 
pushing me to go quicker every time I glance down, like running a bit quicker than I probably should be, but on feel and heart rate, it's fine. So letting it go a bit, but certainly looking forward to opening them up a bit later on, but you are getting that kind of classic super shoe thing of running a bit quicker than you think you are just because of the combination of the foam and the plate, but it certainly feels much flatter and firmer and harder than, you know, a high stack super shoe, but you are getting some of the benefits from it. And it's obviously very lightweight, which is nice, but so far just been cruising along really. So well, we'll learn a bit more about them later on in the run. So I'm just on my cool down now, uh, just jogging up a big hill home. Uh, and yeah, that was a really enjoyable first run in a new balance. She's noticing right now on this easy bit as I jog up home, it's they're really quite comfortable given that they are lower stack, you know, probably sub 30 mil stack. Uh, and yeah, they felt really good on the run. Like, and as I say, nothing too all out express today around a 5.45 last mile. So ticking up towards marathon pace. They felt really good throughout the whole run. Um, they don't feel really soft and squishy. They're very different kind of fuel cell shoot in that regard. They're uh, much firmer. They're obviously somewhere falling somewhere between the RC Elite 1 in particular and then the kind of the old 1400 or 1500 racing flats. And, yeah, so probably actually pretty much in the middle, I'd say. <laughs> they, they do a good job of providing a lot of ground feel, a nice firm ride and, you know, good nimble feel, agile feel on corners, that kind of thing, while having a bit more protection on those old flats. Thanks to that super soft foam, which doesn't feel super soft because the plate's in there and it's quite low stack. So today I've done a 7K first run in the paces. I didn't want to go too much further than that in them because um, I'm not really used to wearing racing flats, so I didn't want to go all out and, and go for like a half marathon distance or anything in these. So what I've done is a, a 7K, I've done about 3K on uh, roads, at fairly steady pace for me, which is about 4.30 to 4.45 minute kilometers. Um, and then I've come down to the local track. It's not a running track, it's a cycling track, so it's not perfect for it. But So I've done a few laps in them and a few uh, sprints to see how they feel at pace which is what the shoe is designed for uh, and what i found is that over the um steady pace running over the roads i didn't really feel a lot from there i'm not really used to wearing racing flats i normally wear really cushioned shoes so I, that is quite noticeable straight away even though there's quite a uh, there's a soft bit of fuel cell foam in there you can feel that softness when you're running in it um it it does feel very lean um which it makes it hard to run on at a steady pace so d definitely no benefit to running in them in a steady pace they don't feel particularly comfortable um, and i want a lot more cushioning in my shoes uh, when i'm running at a steady pace but when i came down to the track i've done a few different uh little sprints so i've been doing anything from sort of 100 meter sprint to a 600 meter faster lap of the track and what it is definitely really starts to come onto its own when you start running faster that the lightness of the shoe uh, really works well with that fuel cell foam and yeah you can just really pick up the face really quickly i was getting down to about three minute 15 kilometers um as i was picking up pace and it felt great at those speeds it felt, feels really fast uh it doesn't feel necessarily that propulsive if um it's got a carbon plate in it I can't really feel that calm plate very much, um, which I don't think is a bad thing. Um, you, shouldn't, you shouldn't always have to feel a calm plate in a shoe. It just feels like a very light shoe um, with a very spr little sprinkling of bouncing it, which uh, you do notice when you start picking up the pace and going at those faster efforts. So yeah, um, I definitely think it's a shoe very much designed for those shorter distances. Um, I am looking forward to trying it out on a park run this weekend so i think i'm going to use this for a, a park run the local park run on saturday and see how i do uh, when i'm going all out um at 5k pace in these shoes because normally i would wear something like the vaporfly for these so this is a big difference for me uh, from that thick uh, wedge of cushioning that i would normally run in for a 5k so I've actually done a few runs uh, in this shoe now, relatively short ones though. Um, I did a kind of two and a half K uh, run to the post office to pick up another pair of shoes that I've, I need, I've got in for testing. Um, I've done a treadmill run at about 30 minutes um, on holiday where I wasn't doing a massive amount of running and I've come back from holiday struggling to run again, but I've done a kind of re relatively quick 5K um, out on the road. And yeah, um, first few runs I've actually really enjoyed this shoe. It's a bit of a shock to the system. Obviously it's a low stack shoe, um, you know, compared to what I've been racing in and kind of you know generally training in um, and testing recently but I've actually really enjoyed it and it feels best at speed definitely I think the fuel cell midsole 
is obviously a little bit firm, but uh, actually I quite liked it at speed and you, you can still get a nice kind of snappy, responsive feel from it. Um, at least in my kind of initial testing you, you know it's not really a shoe to go slow in i don't think um but when you get up to that kind of quicker stuff it feels really nice to go you've got a really nice kind of strong outsole on there as well i felt kind of nimble and quick uh, in it you know even kind of going around the corners and roads it felt really nice and kind of stable from that point of view um it feels to me like it's going to be a strong 5k 10k shoe um you know and i think for me, I'd love to kind of see how it works in, a race, in race conditions, also kind of track sessions and interval sessions as well. That's where I'm really going to see where this could really pay off at this having, you know, a shoe having in your, you know, you have in your rotation. But yeah, I've, I've kind of really enjoyed it, those kind of shorter runs. I want to do maybe get up to the 10K, maybe see if it kind of holds up in a kind of half marathon distance as well. But I've actually really enjoyed it, you know, as I said, a different kind of uh, shoe to running compared to what I've been running in racing and racing in, but um, relatively positive so far on the, um, on the Super Comp pacer um, based on my initial runs. So initial verdict on the uh, Super Comp uh, pacer, I actually really liked it, I really enjoyed it. Um, I um, I mean for the crowd that it's aimed at, the kind of 5k, 10k um, kind of race crowd, I think it's going to work pretty nicely. Um, it could probably lean itself to a half marathon as well, I think, I think there's enough protection there in terms of what you're getting in this shoe. Uh, the fuel cell midsole feels nice and snappy a little bit you know it's gonna be a little bit firm obviously it's lower stacked um i haven't run in the street fly or the takumi um i have run in the sketches speed elite or hyper which i really like um for 5k um i think you can go a little bit uh, longer in this shoe i think but i actually i think i prefer the snap as a responsiveness in the sketches shoe personally but i think in terms of if you're leaning uh, towards a kind of low stacked racing shoe um this feels like potentially could be a really strong shoe i think yeah 5k to 10k best at speed definitely um a lovely light snappy shoe um so far um and i'm looking forward to kind of doing more track sessions in it and actually putting it to the test and kind of 5k 10k pace uh, race as well so yeah so far so good for me on the new balance um super comp pacer so I kind of early vote from the shoes. I enjoyed the first run in it. Obviously, want to do some much faster stuff in it if I can. But yeah, I was surprised at how comfortable it was today. Certainly, I did about nine miles in total, including you know, a few fairly easy ones. And it is cushy. You know, it does help you kind of tick along quicker than you expect when you are not making too much of an effort on the run. Uh, and then it does liven up a lot. And it wants to go fast. It's certainly a shoe I think that's, I'm going to enjoy pushing past marathon pace towards kind of faster race paces in in the future. Looking at this new breed of low stack shoes, if you're comparing it to the Street Fly and the Takumi Sen, it feels more like a Takumi Sen to me. A bit a bit more direct a bit more kind of super shoe really whereas the street fly is a very lightweight spongy comfortable and fast shoe definitely a very fast shoe but but i don't i didn't really feel the same kind of level of propulsion from that shoe certainly deep into runs as i did today with this shoe and i have done in many runs with the takumi sen 8. Uh, you know the other thing to compare it to is obviously full carbon shoes but this is coming a bit cheaper a bit lighter a bit lower stack I did, certainly on some kind of long straights today at faster paces towards the end of the run you can certainly feel how a higher stack more cushioned you know, shoe with, with a you know a bit more springy foam in there to help you propel forward would be of a benefit but definitely if you're going to be you know taking sharp corners and that kind of thing this is going to be a fun shoe to do it in with the lower stack and i feel that certainly is a little bit reminiscent of the um i can't remember which one it was either the red 1400 or 1500 um old new balance racing flat i always get those two a bit confused um either way yeah it's certainly got a bit of that feel to it but with a lot more kind of cushioning and protection when you're moving at slower paces for sure so yeah a successful first run Looking forward to getting out of it again, and we'll have our full multi tester review coming of the Supercomp Pacer down the line. Okay, so my verdict on the Pacer is that it's a really nice, lightweight shoe that is very, very focused on running fast at short distances. It's not a particularly comfortable shoe if you're doing sort of easy miles. You probably wouldn't want to do easy miles in it. I definitely don't think I would go to half marathon in this shoe. I, I know the marketing material says it goes from 5k to half marathon. I think 10K would be my limit in this shoe. And even then I probably wouldn't, I'd want more cushioning if I'm gonna go and do a 10K in these. It's just not enough in it for me. On that 7K, I did feel that like um, over the easy miles that it was just just too lean for me for doing steady, steady paced running. So um, I definitely like to give it going a 5K um, and a 10K but I think I'm gonna cap out a 10K because I don't, I don't think I'd wanna do a half marathon in these shoes. But overall, lovely lightweight shoe, very comfortable and really looking forward to running in them again.
So that's our first look at the New Balance Supercomp Pacer. Um, let us know what you think in the comments. Is this one you're eyeing up? Uh, are you excited by these low stack shoes? Please like, subscribe, ring the little bell so you get notified when new videos dropping. There's a whole host of exciting carbon shoes coming and we're gonna get them all in and test them and put videos on the channel so you don't wanna miss them. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. We'll see you next time.